Though fully aware of the fact that world peace will not be created by this review, I find an immense need to weigh in on the beige versus taupe conversation as I recently faced the conundrum head on. What began as a quick run into Amazon to pick up a settee cushion that would easily make friends with the other on the lanai, ended in a most intriguing manner. Initial attempts to obtain a genuine sense of the cushion color were of the more acceptable persuasion, such as obsessively clicking back and forth between images of both the beige and taupe cushions, opening a second screen in a new widow so I could execute a respectable side-by-side -side vertical. There were still questions. What type of camera lens was the reviewing photographer using, was there any potential that a flash was used, and most importantly, was I being purposely misled? How was I to accurately access the color when there wasn't a comparable piece of fabric in the image? All of those, what does a pair taste like to you? Questions rushed through my mind. I knew things had gone way too far when I realized that I had spent the better part of 30 minutes staring at the screen of my laptop now fully pivoted and in the apex position, enabling me to place the screen as close as was humanly possible to my existing, and otherwise unrelated cushion, wake. Did I spend my time on earth thus far thinking I was beige when I was really taupe? It couldn't possibly be true. I always knew that I had a hint of yellow but I was told not to worry about that. I was simply a little more tan than the others. But now I might be beige? After calming my cushion in a most sensitive manner, I quickly turned my attention back to my now nearly scientific comparison process, AF. That my friends, is when it dawned on me. Not only was the methodology itself flawed as I wasn't on any of the design computers and therefore didn't have a true representation of color on the screen. Further, a bizarre sense washed over me, one that indicated the situation had reached a most divisive tipping point. It occurred to me that all the pedantic minutiae surrounded $40, $50 cushions, an entirely separate dilemma that I can't bear to discuss, one cushion was $10 more than the other? How could that be, and did it matter since I couldn't ascertain which cushion was of any particular preference? I took a deep breath and came to the conclusion that my steps had to be calculated and deliberate as they would determine how the situation was going to end. Once my neurons returned to firing in a proper fashion, I thought to myself, you can take this on, you have it in you, you entertain pitches by columnists and freelance writers who approach you with these exact questions. What is the true meaning of beige, they ask. You have hundreds of products sent to your office with the hopes that someone might write 40 words and dedicate one sixteenth of a page's worth of attention to the next biggest thing. Click link in description for more reviews.